Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another day in my life. Alright, so after I brush the teeth and do all that, we gotta do the skincare, of course. I just did a dedicated, kind of more in-depth skincare routine on my main channel if you guys are interested, but I'm just gonna use all of my favorite products. I will link my skincare sleeves down below. These are my favorite. I do this routine every single morning. I just use like five products, but it's been working really well for my skin. If you guys are tired of the water running down your arms, you need these skincare sleeves. I talk about them every time I do a skincare routine. Even when you're cleaning, like whenever I'm cleaning my shower, I like to put them on just to like prevent the water from running down your arms. It's just one of the most annoying things. So these are fabulous. They're just like little towels and you can wash them every week with your towels, with your laundry. You can use these to dry your face, dry off your sink and they're the best. So I have another pair right here. I just ordered two other pairs actually because these, I've had these for like almost two years or maybe a little over two years at this point and I just wanted fresh pairs. So I got another black and white one but they come in a couple other colors and different sizes as well. So I'll link these down below if you wanna support a small business, check these out. Okay. Rest of the skincare. Super simple. Vitamin C, Desi Skin, so good. Alright, skincare is all done. I will leave my skincare routine down below if you guys want to take a little bit of a closer look into exactly what I use and all the details, so check the description box. And the last and final thing that I do is always deodorant, and I do want to give a big thank you to Native for working with me on this portion of today's vlog. I love Native deodorant. I've been using them for over two years at this point. They are my go-to, and I always love working with them because I genuinely use it. I got Hector using it for like the past two years as well. It's honestly the best. It's one of those things that I always go back to. I've tried so many other aluminum-free deodorants. And for me personally, Native is the best, and I have a new favorite scent that I'm loving that I'm going to share with you guys. So let's get into it. So as part of my morning routine, I put on deodorant every single morning, and this has been my go-to. So I've been using Native, like I said, for years at this point, but the unscented version is a newer scent for me that I have been loving. If you're sensitive to scents, or if you just don't want a scent, the unscented version is fabulous. I feel like I stay like fresh all throughout the day, no touch-ups, it's not sticky. And I love the fact that of course Native is cruelty-free, vegan, aluminum-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and there's a lot of common ingredients in their deodorant, like shea butter, coconut oil, and they have a ton of different scents to choose from. So I love the fact that this deodorant lasts a really long time, like I don't have to touch up, even like when I'm working out or anything, like it'll last through a workout, it's not sticky, it dries really quick. It's like honestly one of the best formulas, that's why I always, like I said, go back to this one, because I've tried other ones, and something about other ones, they don't always last all day, or like as much as this one especially the unscented like I said the unscented has been in my jam I love this one I have two other ones here that I really like as well the eucalyptus in mint is a really light minty scent Hector's actually been using this this has been his go-to and then this is a really good summer scent as well the sweet peach and nectar it's like a really light fruity fresh scent not too sweet not too fruity but it's like sweet enough. Their scents are really nice because they're like, obviously you can smell them on you, but they're not too overpowering. So they're very light and fresh and clean. And they also have other products as well. They have body washes now, different scents. And they also make my favorite toothpaste. My whitening toothpaste is like my go-to. I can never find it whenever I go into Target. It's always sold out, but whenever I can get my hands on it, that is my go-to toothpaste and I love it. So definitely check out Native if you're looking for a new potty care brand or if you just want to try out some of their deodorants. And they also do have a plastic free version of the deodorant in. So it's the same exact formula, just more sustainable packaging. So check that out if you're interested as well. And if you guys use my code in my link, you can get three deodorants for $24. They're normally $36, but with my code, you get a little bit of a discount and you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste as well. So try these out, check out this brand and thank you once again to Native for working with me in today's video. It's always a pleasure, obviously working with brands that I genuinely use or that I've been using for a long time. So that's pretty much it for my little morning skincare routine and what I do. I actually already took Bernard on a walk to get some energy out and so you could use the bathroom now we're gonna go eat breakfast and i'll bring you guys along the rest of my day so let's go and here is my little otd oh i also need to put on some body spray because i put on body spray or perfume like every single day even if i'm not going anywhere it's just like 
my ritual. So this is my outfit. This t-shirt is actually from one of my friends. She has her own website and she sells merch. And these are the comfiest, softest t-shirts, you guys. I ordered like every single color. I got the brown one at first in like the dark gray because I normally love like darker t-shirts like that, like for every day. And I just fell in love with the material. Like the material is so soft. It's like different than like a regular like Hanes t-shirt. Like it's like really, really nice and soft. So I think I'm gonna get the rest of the colors that I haven't gotten because that's how much I love it. I wear these like every single day with biker shorts or leggings. They're so comfortable. So yeah, I will link her website and everything down below. I'm in a medium and I think it fits me like perfectly. Like I have a little bit of length, but it's not like too baggy or too tight. It's like perfect. And then these biker shorts, they actually come in a set with like a sports bra kind of situation, which I will link down below. So comfortable. I have these also in a couple different colors. They're from Amazon and you guys, they're high waisted. They fit so nicely and this ripped material just makes them that much more comfortable. I love them. So I have these in black, brown, and like I said, I have a couple other colors that I ordered because I am obsessed. So necklace is from Amazon. These hoops are from Sensi jewels I will link them down below they have really cute affordable jewelry and it's like amazing quality and then this bracelet is from Miranda Fry jewelry so that is my little OOTD and I just have my hair in a little low bun today's actually an editing day I have another video to work on so it's gonna be super chill laid back day so also this is from Amazon this little mirror and jewelry organizer I shared it in one of my videos but it's not totally organized. Like you can see, I still have to put some stuff away here, but I love this because I can keep all of my jewelry on display and I have some extra body sprays and lotions that just didn't fit. These were honestly just thrown in one of my drawers. So it's nice to have everything on display. But anyways, this is one of my favorite body sprays in the summer at the beach. So good. It's like the perfect body spray for summer. And then this is another one that I really like as well. It's the Sugar Rush Sugar Spritz Body Spray. This also smells like summer. This one's a little bit sweeter than the At The Beach one. The At The Beach one I think is a little bit more lightweight and fresh. Also wanted to mention, because I was getting a couple questions about my Amazon storefront. So it actually got deleted and I was trying to figure out why it got deleted for the longest time. So basically, long story short, whenever I was doing my Amazon videos, I was posting screenshots of the product that I was talking about in my videos because I feel like that's super helpful whenever I'm mentioning a product, especially on Amazon because there's just so many different products on there. So that's why I always like to include usually screenshots of like whatever I'm talking about. That way, if you guys want to go look for it or if you want to screenshot it yourself or something, you kind of have it there for reference whenever you're watching my videos. But apparently like with Amazon, you're not allowed to do that. It's like against like their trademark and copyright. So that's why my storefront got deleted because I guess I did it multiple times and I wasn't aware that you weren't able to do that. So it's like this whole big thing. Thing. I got it situated though, but I'm waiting to hopefully get reapproved so that I can have my storefront again. It said it can take up to like five to seven days, so I'm kind of just waiting on that. But I relinked all of my products and I'm hoping that it does get approved so I can share with you guys all of my favorites. It just makes it so much easier whenever I'm talking about products because I do shop on Amazon a lot and I have a lot of like home favorites, beauty favorites, clothing favorites. So if I just link my storefront, you guys can kind of see everything categorized. So that is what happened. I'm sorry that it's been like over, honestly, like a month and a half or so since my storefront was deleted. I was just trying to figure out why it was deleted before like I made a new one. Anyways, let's go make some breakfast. I'm gonna have banana bread and coffee. So I'm back in the office now. I'm gonna get some work done. I have some emails to respond to. I'm gonna edit my video. I filmed a declutter a few days ago, so I'm gonna finish that up. And then I have a meeting at one on Zoom. So kind of a busy day, but also still super chill. This is like my first like kind of normal work week because I've been so busy. I was traveling. I went to LA last week. I was on QVC also a few weeks ago. So there was a lot of prepping for that. So I've just been like really busy doing like a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So it's nice to have like a normal work week like for one. So I'm still like trying to catch up with everything, but obviously I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to share with you guys everything and then maybe later also I wanted to go to Ulta to see if there's any new makeup so I'll see you in a little bit. Hey 
Hey guys, I am back. I did a bunch of work on the computer. I'm not done yet. I still have to finish my video because declutters are super, super long. But I wanted to take a break and I ended up actually working out because I haven't worked out in like a month. So I'm trying to like lean back into it a little bit. So I did something really quick, like just 35, 40 minute workout. Um, showered, washed my hair. That's why it's looking a mess. I just have it up in a clip right now. But I changed because Hector actually got home from work early. So we're gonna go get some lunch at Chen. If you guys watch my videos, you know how much we love Chen. If you guys are in the area in West Reading, it's like our favorite vegan restaurant. But surprisingly, we actually haven't been there in a few weeks because we've been trying not to eat out every single weekend and just really eating like leftovers and just cooking at home. But they were closed for like two weeks for 4th of July. So we really haven't been there in like quite some time. So we're gonna go get some lunch. It was actually perfect that Hector got out early today because I wasn't filming. I was just like editing and stuff. So yeah, gonna go take another little break and go get some lunch. And then maybe I'll stop by after that and go to Ulta because I really want to see if there's any new makeup like I think I told you guys earlier but um, I haven't been to Ulta also in like a few weeks I've really just been like online shopping and just getting stuff online so I'm like I kind of want to go in store and see what they have so yeah that is the plan this little shirt by the way is from Amazon another Amazon favorite they have a bunch of different colors and I got them all because this tank has been like my go-to I wear it all the time this one and like a bunch of other colors I feel like it just goes with like so many different outfits so yeah Anyways, let's go get lunch because I am pretty hungry. I didn't eat since earlier, so it is time to fuel up. So my mom just brought over this guac. Look at how good this looks, you guys. She makes the best guac like ever. She puts tomato, cilantro, red onion, lime. So good. And she seasons it like perfectly. And then we recently discovered these chips from Aldi. Like so good. Not like Doritos. Cause I feel like we still have yet to find chips that taste like Doritos, but these are really good and they're just like cauliflower, like not the flavored chips, but they're delicious. So these with the guac is actually really good. This is what they look like. Let's try some. Hector loves it already. He's been digging in, waiting for me. Are you ready to go now? You guys already know our favorite smoothies. Got our lunch. We got the same thing. A little display. B-roll of the food. Mmm. So we have green beans, chicken, but it's not really chicken. It's seitan with white rice. It looks so good. I'm so hungry. Did you eat lunch? Uh, yeah, I had that, um, that rice. Uh, I didn't eat lunch. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Didn't really end up doing much yesterday when we got back from dinner because my video was so long I had to finish it and I was like determined to get it up. So I pretty much worked on that all night and I figured I would bring you guys along again today for a little extension to yesterday's vlog because I didn't do a whole lot. But I have a couple things that I need to get done today. I have to go to the post office. I have to go to the bank. I gotta go get this gel polish taken off of my nails because I've been doing press on nails but I got a gel manicure last year specifically for a photo shoot that I had but I have another look in mind and I need to do some press on nails. So I'm gonna go get this taken off. And then I also have to go to the grocery store just to get some odds and ends of things that we're running low on. So yeah, not really exciting, but I am doing some things. I figured I'd bring you guys along. I also still wanna go to Ulta and see if they have any new makeup. I was actually browsing online and if I don't see anything in store, I'll probably just make an order online because there's a couple things that I need to get that aren't sold in stores. Also, by the way, I'm wearing the same t-shirt from yesterday, just in a different color. This is like my most worn t-shirt. I wear this all the time. It is just, like I said, so comfortable and I love this brown color, but yeah, I'm gonna head out. My face is looking extra oily because I just did my skincare, but Okay, how can somebody be so freaking cute? Bernard, he has our couch looking crazy, you guys. Every time I put a blanket over it, he takes it off. So that's basically his couch and that's why it looks a hot mess. Eventually we're gonna have to get another one. Bernard, I love you. Ugh, he's so cute. Anyways, let's grab a green juice and then we'll head out. These are my favorite green juices. I love them on their own. And sometimes like if I'm ever like just at home, I will add it some extra green powder just to get some extra greens in. But these are great, super refreshing. It kind of tastes like iced tea, but like less sugary. All right guys, made it to the nail salon. I literally can't see anything right now because I have my sunglasses on and I can't see even if I'm in focus or anything. So hopefully it looks okay. My car is a mess. It needs to be cleaned. There's bird poop all over the front of it and um, yeah, it's a mess inside. There's dog hair everywhere, but went to the post office, went to the bank, got the boring stuff out of the way. Now I'm about to go get this gel taken off my nails. I'm just finishing up my juice and then 
we're gonna go to Ulta. I can't vlog in Ulta because you're technically not supposed to unless you have permission from like corporate, which I normally don't get permission unless I'm gonna do like a shop with me, but I'll see if I can like sneak my phone and show you guys, but I'll show you guys everything that I got once I get home. All right, made it back home. I have a little Ulta haul for you guys and also a Sephora haul. I picked up a couple things and I actually have another order coming on Friday. It would not be a Juicy Jazz vlog without a haul. So first thing I picked up from Ulta, which by the way, they didn't have a ton of new things. Got the gel removed off of my nails, by the way, but um, I'm gonna do press-ons later on, but they didn't have a ton of new things. I just picked up a couple backups and like a couple of new things that I wanted to test out. So first I got this Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. It says it's supposed to help with skin texture and pores, so it's like a good nighttime serum. I really have been loving their eye gel, and this brand for the most part is like pretty affordable. It's like kind of in the middle, but their eye gel is amazing, so I wanted to give this a try, and it looked really good, and I always am trying out new nighttime serums, so I'll test this out and let you guys know my thoughts. Also did pick up the Milani Make It Last sunscreen. I actually tried this before and I felt like the scent was way too strong, but I didn't know up until like recently that you're supposed to constantly reapply sunscreen throughout the day. And obviously when you have makeup on, it's like the only way to do that is really with a spray. So I wanted to try this again because a couple of you guys told me that you really like it and you recommend for me to just spray it further away from the face. So I'm going to try this out again because I love the original Make It Last. You guys know that's my favorite. So I don't even mind the smell as long as I'm protecting my skin at this point even if I don't end up using this for the face I feel like for the chest it could be a good kind of spray to reapply throughout the day anyways also got the Ulta Beauty keep shining citrus scented glow primer water I was like really intrigued by like the glowy primer water thing that it said on here so I was like okay let me try it out because I love a good primer water and I haven't tried anything from the Ulta Beauty brand in a little bit I also picked up this translucent powder it is the positive mindset translucent setting powder with rosehip oil also looks really good I'll feature that in a testing new makeup and then I picked up this real techniques premium sponge case because whenever I'm traveling I feel like my beauty sponge is like floating all over the place and so just to store it away really nicely I picked this up and I think this is gonna fit most sponges like not just the Real Techniques one so I got that also picked up a backup of my favorite lash glue liner this is the clear one great for every day if you don't want to deal with lash glue this is amazing and then the lashes were a buy one get one 50% off from kiss so these are two of my favorite pairs the naked drama in Oregonza and then the Luxtension lashes in the style cashmere NYX also has had this new luminous cheek serum and you guys know I'm all about that cream blush especially like a bronzy kind of peachy color and this one looks really pretty so this one is in the shade peach bronze so I got that and I also picked up the LA girl keep it playful eyeshadow palette and I really love the other two that I got so I wanted to get like the more pinky romantic mauvey colored one because I love the other two and this one looked really pretty these are great quality for like 10 bucks then I have a couple things that I got from Sephora. So I already got all my fingerprints on this palette, but this is the new Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. It looks really, really pretty. Look at this. It's so pretty, of course. Lots of neutrals in here. And there's like two cream colors in here as well, but it's like some shimmers, some mattes. It looks so good. I cannot wait to play with this. And then I picked up the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. This is the heat one. So this is a universal lip luminizer and lip plumper. And I don't know how I feel about it. You know, it's kind of hard to tell right now because the light's kind of washing me out, but this is what it looks like. When I first put this on, it definitely did sting my lips for about, I would say like two, three minutes. So it does go away, but just a fair warning. I feel like most lip plumpers do that. Some of them are more intense than others. I personally really like e.l.f. and Milani for lip plumpers. I feel like a lot of high-end ones are just so intense. Like the Too Faced ones, they just really burn and irritate my lips. This one doesn't feel too bad, but I don't know if I'm crazy about it for the price. Like it's a pretty... It's a pretty gloss as you can see, but I think I like the original formula so much better than like the lip plumping formula. So I don't know. But yeah, I picked that up and this one is in Hot Cherry. And then I also got this Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I have been wanting to try this out. So I picked this one up in the color Melon. And then this is the last thing that I got. It's from this brand right here. I think it's called Say. And it is their Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. So I'm gonna be testing out these products in an upcoming video. I'm super excited because they look really, really good. All right, so putting this away and then we're gonna start dinner. Gotta wipe the countertops, of course. I love this daily all-purpose cleaner. 
for countertops. So good, you can get it at Target. So I'm gonna start dinner now and I'll show you guys what I'm making. I'm trying something a little bit different tonight. Look at that. I also added a little bit of pine salt to it because I was running low on it. So I added some of that to that bottle that I just showed you guys. But the cleaner itself is really good. Like look at how shiny everything looks. I love it. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna do some spaghetti and meatballs. I've made this before and it's one of my favorite meals because then the leftovers are great and it's just super filling and good. So this is my favorite pasta. It's just classic protein pasta. I usually get this one from Walmart. And then this is my favorite sauce. So I normally get the tomato basil one, but this is all that they had. So I'm just using plain marinara. Of course, I'm gonna season it and I'm gonna add my own veggies and stuff to the sauce as well. Like I like to do garlic, onions, peppers. Sometimes I'll do tomatoes. And we're trying out these new meatballs from this brand, Jack and Annie's. I found these at Giant. And what's really cool is that all of their meatless meats are actually made from jackfruit and we love jackfruit. So instead of like the traditional kind of beyond meat, which of course is very processed and there's a ton of ingredients tastes really good but I wanted something with more like whole food ingredients and I was so excited to see this brand because everything is made from jackfruit okay public service announcement if you do not cook with better than bouillon start right now I always get the seasoned vegetable one the reduced sodium this gives the food so much flavor you guys like you're welcome thank me later Okay, these meatballs look actually really good. They also smell really good too. I did just toss these in a little bit of olive oil and I used some of this Goya salad and vegetable seasoning, which I love for veggies or even just like for pasta dishes. It just adds some really good flavor. So this with the bouillon that I just showed you guys about, such a good combo, but yeah, these look really good. So I'm gonna toss these in the pan right now that I have with a little bit of also olive oil, vegetable bouillon, and then I added the peppers, some spinach, and onions, and garlic. Okay, update. I just took out a meatball from the sauce. The sauce is amazing. These meatballs, you guys, are really, really good. So I just put it on my little cutting board just to show you what it looks like. It actually has like the texture of a meatball, but it's honestly really good. I seasoned them and everything really well. And then with the sauce, I feel like you wouldn't even know that these are jackfruit meatballs. I'm gonna have my dinner and then probably gonna shower and relax for the night. All right, ending the night with more wine and a movie with Hector. Bernard! You coming down? <laughs> Come on. This is our routine every night. Let's see if Hector's sleeping. Oh, you're up. Movie time. What are you gonna do? I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. 